big. There's one. That's a good one. Ooh, this one definitely. I think it feels better. That's a good one. Ready? Yes, keep it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Number two. It's the final day of tournament competition at the AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open on Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas. More than 400 of college fishing's best anglers are going out to bring in the biggest five fish limit they can catch in order to claim their share of the more than $20,000 in prizes and contingencies, as well as double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Two leaders right there, Henry and Matthew, University of Alabama, Hayden and Ben from Carson Newman. Five fish limit today for 13.06, 11.53 right there, two day total of 27.09, leaders of the tournament, Arkansas Tech. Entering the final day, the top 20 teams are separated by roughly five and a half pounds. Who can bring in a big limit and claim the tournament title? Find out next. That's our new leaders right there. Big Zoe! University of Montevallo, 24-96. National champions, Wallace State, Briar and Clinton. Welcome in to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series and final day coverage of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. More than 400 of the nation's top collegiate anglers are set to take out onto Lake Darnell in Russellville, Arkansas for day two of tournament competition. After day one, the weights are stacked tight and teams are shooting to move up in the standings and take home the win. We had a good day yesterday. Uh, we had 13 and a half pounds, we're sitting in second. Uh, I think we're two pounds out of the lead. So uh, good start, but we gotta be consistent today and go catch them. On the line today, Anglers are vying for over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies, as well as double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Here is a look at the tournament standings entering today. Matt Higby and John Foster Case from Arkansas Tech University are in first. Lane Stevens and Colson Head from third ranked McKendree University are in second. And another Arkansas Tech pairing, Remington Lawrence and Jade Kraft are in third. With two teams in the top three, the Arkansas Tech University anglers are looking to seal the victory at their home fishery right here in Russellville. It would mean a lot, <clears throat> me being a senior at Arkansas Tech. I've been out here all these hours on this lake and grinded. I've had good days and bad days, but to bring it home on the last one would mean a lot. You know, when I got here my, fresh, my freshman year at Arkansas Tech, I, I told myself, I. I really want to win this tournament one of these four years. I'm going to put in a lot of time, a lot of work, try to get this thing done. And to have the opportunity to be leading it on day one and going to day two and just being able to catch a limit today, it it, it mean a lot to us to, to do good in this thing. Let's go out onto Lake Darnell now to begin on the water coverage for day two of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. We begin with the current leaders of the event, Matt Higby and John Foster Case from Arkansas Tech University. This place is kind of a community hole, so there's always somebody on it with two other tournaments uh, on the lake today. I, I figured there'd honestly be somebody on it this morning, but we didn't get to fish it yesterday morning. Outside. Is it a keeper? Be mm. close. We didn't get to fish this yesterday morning, and uh, I was really hoping we'd get to fish it today. And we got the spot, so we ain't got any excuses. Uh, was really hoping just to catch a couple of keepers off of it this morning to get us on our way, and then go uh, fish our other stuff. It's gonna be 14 gonna inches. Be 14 inches. That one ain't gonna that make one it. Ain't gonna make a cut. It's a good bite though. Good sign. We'll return to Russellville, Arkansas, and Lake Dardanelle for more action shortly. 
In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to our College Bass Fishing YouTube page. Keeper? Yeah. Net? I got it. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series and day two coverage of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. Day one leaders Matt Higby and John Foster Case from Arkansas Tech University have moved up shallow and are finding success flipping wood cover. Both short. It goes. Yeah, brother. Can I stink? Yeah, that's 14 and a half, brother. Mine's like I engulfed it. Those two may, may help us a lot more than we think, but we definitely need to catch some bigger ones. It's gonna take. We figured about. We caught 12 today, you know. We have a shot at it. From the day one leaders, we go on over to Lane Stevens and Colson Head from third ranked McKendry University. The duo enters today in second place. A good one. Good low. That fish marks the team's first keeper of the day as they shoot to track down first place. Following that fish catch, Colson quickly hooks up with another quality keeper. Not hooked very good either. Number two. Our morning so far, uh, we we rolled up here. We didn't get bent that instantly, but we started finessing around, throwing a drop shot a little bit, and Lane landed one. And then within five minutes, I landed another one. They're two good quality keepers. So we uh, we started off good and early, and I think these brush pile and stump fish are just going to get better throughout the day. Is what our hope. So we're gonna keep grinding, hopefully get five, and then hopefully catch a big one. From the second place team, let's check in on the Arkansas Tech tandem of Remington Lawrence and Jade Kraft, who entered today in third. Uh, it's really just a, a big sand drop that's got a bunch of bait around it, and they've been stacking up, sitting right off the edge of that ledge. And that's where we called them all yesterday, hopefully. We can get some more bites off of it today. We're gonna to sit here for a pretty good while. If it gets to where we can tell we're not gonna get anything, we're gonna run and scramble and try to get a bite. Ooh, this one definitely, I think it feels better. I don't know. Probably a drone. Heck yeah. But he's got choked too, don't he? Yeah. Arkansas Tech enters the final day with two teams in the top three out of this more than 200 boat field. The first place team of Matt Higby and John Foster Case have switched things up and are now throwing top water baits for bigger bites. What? Isn't it? Is that a Kentucky? Oh my gosh. He's 15. He's 14 and a half. Oh, football. Good. That's 
good. They're not positioned in the same spot they were yesterday. But that's Dardanelle for you. They ain't never in the same place they are the next day, so. Really confident about that one, though. Hopefully we can uh, get a few more bites like that. We'll return to Russellville, Arkansas and Lake Dardanelle for more action shortly. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to our College Bass Fishing YouTube page. Working here at AFCO is a brand. It's really fun and exciting to be able to work in the industry and also work with all the anglers that are out there, getting all their good feedback from all the gear. You know, we, we really provide for them to solve different pro simple problems they have on the water. Keeping you dry, keeping you warm, keeping you comfortable. On top of that, just giving back where we can. AFTCO, the title sponsor of this week's AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open, makes top of the line clothing and gear, while also giving back a portion of the company's profits to conservation. Our 10% pledge we talk about, just to remind everybody, you know, if you purchase an AFTCO product, 10% from our profits is gonna go to all the different things we do, whether it's the lake cleanups we have, our bass release buses, our fish hatcheries we're working with, and all sorts of other things. Um, you get it, you get, have confidence that if you're going to purchase an AFCO product, we're giving back to you as the angler. We're both good functional gear and also giving back to the fishery. The Association of Collegiate Anglers would like to give a special thanks to AFCO for everything they do for the sport of fishing and their support of this prestigious event here at Lake Dardanelle. Hello. We go back on over now to the second place team from McKendree University. Lane Stevens and Colson Head have two fish in the box as they work to fill out a limit. There's one all over mine. Awesome. There was. Was it 14? Yep. Happened quick yesterday. I mean, it was a 30 minute span. You just gotta catch the stragglers when, when you can. And then, uh, I mean, when they turn on, there's, they turn on. We were basically done in 30 minutes yesterday. It, it felt like when they started biting, it's just a matter of waiting on them, fortunately. Trick a dumb one. Big. Maybe, I don't know. No, he's gonna keep. He is gonna keep? Yeah, because I don't think he's so good. Come at me. Rip it. I got it. McKendree University now sits one fish shy of a limit, heading on over to Matt Higby and John Foster Case from Arkansas Tech University. The day one leaders are looking for some better bites and a little bit of luck to take home the win. Oh my God, it's a big one, dude. It's a big one. Yes, sir. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I told you I had one. <laughs> How about that for a move? That fish there will go a long ways towards helping the duo boost their limit, sitting on nine to 10 pounds at the moment. One more quality keeper, could be what the Arkansas Tech anglers need to take home the win. Big one? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good one. Oh Definitely Thanks. color. Pretty good little move. I haven't yeah. fished this in all year. Like I said before, we knew coming into the day that they're probably not going to be on uh, the stuff we caught them on yesterday. Cause if you think you're going to catch them in the same spot two days in a row on Lake Darnell, you got another thing coming for you. But we knew we were going to have to make an adjustment, and I figured to catch them, we were going to have to fish the stuff that we hadn't fished. So that's what we did. And it's working out a little bit so far. We just got to get a couple more good ones, and we'll be on our way back to the boat ramp. We'll return to Russellville, Arkansas and Lake Dardanelle for more action shortly. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to our College Bass Fishing YouTube page. 
Welcome back to final day coverage of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open from Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas. The city of Russellville is the host site for this Association of Collegiate Anglers major event. The lake, community, and surrounding areas offer great opportunities to spend time in the outdoors. Russellville is about 35,000. Um, we have lots of things to do. Anything outdoor that you would enjoy doing. We have disc golf and we have um, hang gliding. We have mountains. We have cycling, mountain cycling, gravel cycling. We have lots of things to do. You can go kayak fishing, uh, anything and everything outdoor. We truly are the natural choice in the natural state. For many years now, the ACA has been hosting major college events at Lake Darnell in Russellville, Arkansas. This year, at the APCO Collegiate Bass Open, over 400 of the nation's top anglers have made their way into town to spend the week practicing and competing. The community of Russellville welcomes these anglers with open arms and appreciates them visiting their lake and town. We're super blessed to have this venue and this uh, economic impact for tourism on our side, and you know we, we know the value and we just really love having fishermen in town. Hayden and Ben from Carson Newman. Five fish limit today for 1306. Back at Lake Darnell State Park, Ben Coley and Hayden Gaddis from 10th ranked Carson Newman University weigh in over 13 pounds on the final day to jump from 15th on day one all the way up into the top three. We knew today that if we went out and caught what, close to what we had, if done a little bit more than what we had yesterday, we'd move up substantially. So, I mean, a limit on day two on this place is always huge. Pretty happy with the finish. Um, had a really tough practice, so to be able to scrape up a good finish from nothing is, is an accomplishment. Anglers from Louisiana Monroe, Connor and Dylan, one shy of a limit. They've got four that 11.95 yesterday. That's what we're talking about. Somebody might be ready to go home with the top 20 check here. Good limit today, 12.74. We're going to talk to you guys. Going to put you up there, 24.69. Connor Nimrod and Dylan Nimrod from the University of Louisiana Monroe finished with a two-day total of 24.69 pounds, jumping up six spots to find themselves in second. Yeah, I mean, we were sitting tight for eighth after the first day, and really, we, coming into this thing, we knew that if we could get a limit both days, we were going to have a shot regardless of what they weighed. And going into the day, that's what we were looking for. We were looking for five bites regardless of the size, and ended up one fish short, but we ended up getting two of the right bites, and that's what jumped us into second place. So overall, we did what we could and just came up one bite short win. All right, Matt and John Foster, your day one leaders had 1556 yesterday. They have a limit today. It needs to go 559 to take over the lead. Did y'all do just as good as yesterday, or did what did you do, improve or worse? Man, we knew it was going to be tough today, and uh, we, we grinded it out, fished a lot of stuff different today that we didn't fish yesterday, and put together a win. 11.53 right there, two-day total at 27.09. Leaders of the tournament, Arkansas Tech, Matt and John Foster. Matt Higby and John Foster Case from Arkansas Tech University maintain their day one lead to win the APCO Collegiate Bass Open with a two-day total of 27.09 pounds. Connor Nimrod and Dylan Nimrod from Louisiana Monroe finish in second, and Hayden Gaddis and Ben Coley from Carson Newman take third. Well, we, we pulled out a win. We didn't think we had it in the bag, but we ended up winning by two and a half pounds, I think. It's awesome. I can't explain it in words. It's, it's crazy. It means a lot. We put in a lot of hard work on this lake. We've been fishing together. We fished through high school since we were like 11 years old. The tournament's out here, so it means a lot to win a big tournament on our home lake. Following the APCO Collegiate Bass Open, here's a look at the national rankings for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Adrian College holds on to its first place lead. The University of Montevallo closes the gap slightly as they sit in second, and McKendree University is in third. And that'll conclude our coverage of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. Thanks for watching this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, and we'll see you next time. This has been a Careco TV production.